This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Mimir, that big dwarf statue we saw. Who was he? All these Stonefoot, warden of Spartalfein. He used his wisdom and might to imprison some of the most dangerous creatures in all the realm. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. Prepare for a fight. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 
it up. Another drug of gold got didn't we? A while ago, you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then.
to remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge ah! is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Enough. We will continue later. Now, if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. Bold. We will finish later. Talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alphon, but that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla, folk form. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. <laughs> Me and Tyr. Who'd ever guess I was the giant? Huh? <laughs> Indeed, lad. I 
recall, I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a deadly deceptive prophecy. We really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw claims to get sore, but thank you, lad. I'd be happy to upgrade the Leviathan for you. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if... Well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. This axe just keeps getting stronger.
Mimir. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. What does that mean? A gift of life, a gift in death. His mother forever, the All Father's breath. Their thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend you. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. Hmm. Please come back any time. Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you hulking dingbat. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. 
We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. Mm -hmm. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it's simple is dangerous. Address. <laughs> Eat. Careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.
butter hurt. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Zuma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <sighs> I gotta get out of here. Okay. He should pay for what he said about mother. But we're God. We oh, can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Please stop. Am I? Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So. Where are we going? <laughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <laughs> Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you.
There's a lot of you. Huh. What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> ah! The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me... Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. Gaffa! Huh? <laughs> 
So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. Go! What's that? A brooch. It's big. I thought giants weren't all supposed to be giant. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Can't believe there are nightmares there, too. The Alpha! Something my father. You know what? Never mind. <sighs> Do you see anything you could use like last time?
Gotha. Looking good. Thanks. Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, totally. The Alpha! How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> OK. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. The Alpha! Wait, where are you? Over here! <sighs> Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. Help me with this? Oh, sure. Hang on. Okay, now you. Whoa. That's Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Ah, uh, okay!
Beat me. I mean, I already knew the path. It's kind of like cheating. No. I've seen these before. Well, then you should know how to beat them. It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Uh, you're just Loki. Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, Others see the future and get messed up by it. 